Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Vaping with Gemini, and we're back to a new product review. Uh, I mentioned before that I'm gonna get a custom box, and it finally came in. Anyhow, vape mail. Who doesn't love vape mail? So I opened it out and checked it out, and took out the bubble wraps and all that, and um, I'm very impressed. Um, this is my second uh, regulated box that I ever had. I had Hex Homes and um, uh, one of them went out on me and I had to send it in and so I went on that patiently. The other one is a mod, uh, a uh, mod father, no, no, not my father, um, Mother's Milk logo on a black hex. Those are limited editions. Uh, I don't use her. I have it on my shelf for display. So, anyhow, um, I, I got this new toy. I'm very really excited. And uh, come and uh, this one here is very unique, and it has as like a sort of like a like a split personality in a way. Okay, so here it is, guys. This is the custom box, and it sits flush on my 30 mil um, Mod Father Ink RTA, and it's badass, and I love it. This is my favorite color too, blue. And you know I like purple and pink, and you know. But blue is my favorite color. Um, I'm gonna take a quick vape, and then uh, we're gonna do some close up, and um, show you what it came with, and uh, give you a name of who you can contact to to get your custom made box. And I'm, I'm, you know, I just got it. I started vaping on it, put it together, I put something my two 18650 batteries in there, and using it, and man, keeps up, satisfied. Uh, I'm happy, man, and it's you know it's a little bigger than, than the hex on, but it's perfect in my hands because I got big hands. But man, I love it. I definitely just love it. Let's take a quick top. And it keeps up, man. It definitely keeps up. Man. Can't get enough. Let's go ahead and do uh, some uh, dive up close. I'm gonna go ahead and do it now and uh, show you what it came with. And uh, and, I'll, and also on the bottom of the video, I'll add some links and, and, um, and who, who, you, who you can talk to and um, he'll get you uh, some boxes uh, made and particularly your, co your color and all that. But let's go ahead and do some dive up close and uh, after that, we do some face over the close up and we go from there. Alright, catch you in a bit. Alright, guys, here's my close up video. <clears throat> Maybe you'll know, we'll see if I can zoom back just a little bit. Okay, it's already zoomed back. Right okay. Um, Maybe zoom just a little more forward, just a little bit. And here we go. Okay, so. I had talked to how you pronounce it, Edgar, Edgar, Paul. Yeah, I think it's Edgar. Um, really nice guy. I talked to him, and pretty much um, he told me I checked on his website for pricing and all that, and um, that way I can present on my review. So actually, he didn't mean to do this too while we're at it. This is faster than my phone. Anyhow, it comes with the box. When you get your case, like uh, the battery is separate. Okay, you get your box, and he gives you a spare timer chip. Okay, it's a spare. Um, what I should have done is have this all out, but let's see. Sorry, I'm on my phone and I'm trying to get the pricing and the list and so forth. Okay, this is a PWM box. It's not a Moffat chip. It's a PW a PWN chip. Okay. Um, okay, now I'm ready. Um, let me go in and take out. 
back cover and take off this tank and put it aside. Okay. Okay. So this is the box. Okay. It's plenty of room and he did a fantastic job. And the fitting he used the XT160 instead of the Dean um, the Dean's connections to it. So you have option to do that. Um, this thing does take Lumpo and well obviously the Lumpo's right here. This one does take Lumpo and 18650 two 1860 batteries. This here is a custom made tray he made. You can literally take this out. Like I said, it has a split personality. Right. Oh, it's in there. And then I'm gonna pull on the rope. Because this has a it's connected to the battery. There it goes. Okay. So yeah, you can take out the battery, this tray here, and put in your limpo. And you know, let's go ahead and do that. The, this um I just got this box, so I didn't charge the limpo or anything like that. Okay. So obviously. Um, this is the balancer, and that's the power. Okay, so the power goes with this one. Okay, and then you just tuck it in. Uh, so, just like that. So, there you go. Um, it might have power, it might not. Let me see. Oh, yeah, it does. It does have power. Okay. So yeah, this is what with the limpo looks like. Okay, this is your on and off switch so far, and it has your adjustable wattage, your fire button. Tell me how many watts in the battery. Um, when you make your box, when you order your box, you either actually want a 22, 24, or a uh, 30 mil for your uh, for your 510 top. That way you can sit your ad your RT and that. I choose 30 because this is mainly going to be on my mod father. And I do have a 38.8 on this alliance. I can throw it on here. And it will look good on it. See? Looks pretty good. Okay. Um, this one is a split personality. Like I said, you can use Limpo. Or he'll make you this, okay? If you wanted it, okay. So if you want, if you want to use Limpo, he'll make you with his tray. If you don't want, you just want just a, uh, to run off an 18650 battery, then yeah, he'll make this tray for you, and it'll fit around right the box, okay? He'll make different sizes of box, and don't forget, you get your timer chip as a spare, okay? Um, when I got the box, and I I kind of shake a little bit to see if any rattle or anything in there. This was in it. I was like. And I contacted him earlier, like no more than five, ten minutes earlier. He told me, yeah, that's a spare. It's like, and he doesn't want to lose it. Gonna worse replace it. So he put it in, in the box as a spare. I was like, oh, okay. Okay, I thought he just left something in there. And then, you know. But anyways, yeah, yeah, that's my spare. And obviously that goes right there. It's kind of dark. But, um, yeah, it's the bun. It's clicky. Good size box. Um... I don't. Uh, I know he has different colors. I don't know about engravings. Um, he is leaning toward that way of, uh, of engraving, but I'm not too sure because um, the printer and all of that it's not cheap. Okay, for engraving, uh, you can get this box made and get engraved somewhere else. That's all depends on you. But I like this box. I love it. I'm happy with it. Um, I have no regrets of it. It's a badass box, okay. Um, the lump, uh, the box itself. This is a one five nine zero B CNC PWM, okay. This one retails for two fourteen ninety five. Just this box alone, okay. If you want to run limpo, he'll do a limpo for you. He does make uh, smaller ones, which is one five nine zero G plus. PWM, they used uh, two 18s, uh, 18650 batteries, like I said, it would be a little smaller. So it's going to be probably like smaller like the Hex, okay? Those sells for 
that is not a bad price usually when you go buy a, a, a mod from a hex ohm they usually go like around 200 bucks like 189 something like that okay um i don't have the purple box with me i already had sent it in to get it repaired because hex at home does the lifetime repair but this is the one i was telling you about that i do not use this is my limit edition um mother's milk logo okay i love this box too as well i don't use it it just sit on my shelf and i just throw my addy on it that i don't use right now and save it but yeah in comparison wise here since they both use 18650 or oh, let me you know what? i'm just gonna leave the limpo in there has magnets on it it's really nice easy to get it out magnets on all four sides okay and on this side it says flush it's pretty strong pretty pretty strong Hold on a second. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. I was like, what in the world? Yeah, you gotta move the limpo just a little bit to get where it says flush. There you go. Okay, yeah, it says Olympo that has a gap on the side, but anyhow, yeah. So this is comparison. Okay, let you guys look. See, so bigger than the hex, a little taller than the hex, a little bit. Um, probably like maybe four, four or five millimeters taller. Okay, width wise, of obviously it's wider a little bit because the Olympo is probably like two, two and a half millimeters. Okay. Um, that's what the front looks like. Okay, this is the side. I'll I'll just do the back, and you can see a little gap right there. See it? See? So it's a little wider, a little taller, a little bigger. You know. So, and then I'll put this on the side. I'll take my hammer of God. Okay. Obviously, big difference. Okay. And. We'll flush that and see so so this taller and it's thinner most definitely but yeah so you know side by side okay so um i love the box it's i got big hands and it fits in my hand fine okay it fits in my hand i can i can grasp this no problem at all and i can hit this all day long no problem i, I like it so and also, if you want to run the Limpo, the biggest Limpo, this Limpo here is an S3 model, okay? This is the S3 model Limpo. He does make the, uh, he, not the Mac, he does have N1, the 4S battery Limpo. is a lot bigger. It's going to be a lot taller too. Probably the same width and everything, it's just taller, okay? Um... Those are a 1590 N1 CNC PWM. Those retail for $219.95. So probably seven, seven to eight dollars more for that box. But that's not including the battery, okay? Batteries are sold separately, okay? Um He does have these boxes with uh MOSFET chip in it, okay? And um, uh, they those are a one five nine zero G plus CNC uh, MOSFET eighteen six fifty. Uh, those are retail for one twenty nine ninety five. Okay, I got the PWM, so it's, it's a lot better chip. Uh, he does sell RDAs there. Um, he has the uh, holy crap. He has the Mallfather thirty mil mil RTA black. Oh, these are pre-order for 70 bucks, okay? Uh, it looks like there's a matte finish in that one, okay? But yeah, it's at broscienceVapes.com. Um, you place it over there, and he'll take care of you. And he does it pretty quick, and he ships you out pretty quick. Um, so I, rec I really recommend it if you want to have your custom box made to the highest uh, top quality uh, chip. 
and box alone. So I'm going to switch this out because I know it has power in it, but I don't want to use it. I'm going to go and charge it. I want to put my tray back in real quick. Yeah, this is my first custom box, so bear with me, okay? And then put the tree back on. There you go, just like that. Okay, awesome. And then I'm gonna slap in my Mod Father. My Mod Father RTA, which is awesome. Look at that sexy right there. Look at that. Okay, so that's my review um, on the close-ups. So I'll show you what I what I, what it came with, what I got, price ways, and um, let's go to FaceTime, vape on it, and talk a little bit more about a little more about it. Vape on it, see how it vapes, and then deal with the video. Catch you in a bit. All right, YouTube, we're back on FaceTime. Um, how does it vape? Vapes, good. I like the box. Feels good in my hands. And I'm a big guy, so take a quick coat. Oh, got to turn it on. Duh. The switch. Turn it back on. Cool. Vapes, good, real good. I love it. I enjoy it. Uh, let's go with the price again one more time. The for the N1 models for the um, 1590 N1 models CNC PWM 21995 for the same one but the uh, 1590B CNC PWM 21495. Okay, that's what this is. Okay, um, the smaller version, those runs limpo, limpo, and he'll make you a tray. The other versions are the 1590G Plus PWM chip that he runs on two 18650 Barrett. Those mods sell for $169.95. Like I said, it's not a bad price. Usually, you buy these kind of mods, these sex homes, they go for like 189 plus 185 plus 182 plus okay so you're getting custom boss built and it has a pwm chip in it okay not bad not bad at all okay um the 1590g plus cnc mosfet chip runs two 18650 battery for 129.95 okay really you know it's up there you know, it, the, the price is up there, okay? But, you know, you're paying for what you get, okay? It's, you know, so. And let me check out the battery part. I'll give you the price on the battery. I'll add, even though I tell you on the video about the uh, the price wasn't there and all that, I will throw a link on the bottom. That way you guys check them out if you guys decide to. The, um, S3 2250 uh, MAH Max M Limpa battery. These run for 60 bucks. Okay, the 4S model uh, 2800 MAH Max M Limpa battery. Those run for 85 dollars. The bigger one, bigger than this. Okay, those are like hardest hitting batteries, man. Uh, you don't even need that to be that extreme. Okay, so the I decided. To have the 3s and it was satisfying enough for me okay um edgar is really really nice guy he's really nice you tell him what you want and he'll do it within the reason of his worth ethics of building your box okay within engraving not so much yet um he is planning thinking about getting a uh, engraver okay so um just give some time, you know. He has family, just like you know, like everybody else. If, you know, they have a life in the outside world, the vaping world. Okay, so he's a real nice guy. He's really reasonable with prices. Of you know, 
affordable i know the prices are up there okay they're up there okay but it's affordable okay um i i, I don't see any other cons okay i, I don't i don't um like you know like the hex you know it doesn't have a screen you know this one tells you the you know how, the volts you're pushing out left on the battery okay this one doesn't even have that it has a fire switch this has a fire switch this has a dial system this have a dial system um you know other than being painted splash or or you know engraved you know this one is more of a sleek look you can buy the box and then find an engraved for you if you want um but this does limpo this doesn't okay this is a PWM chip. This is a MOSFET chip. Okay, so you can build point one, and this thing will keep up with no hassle. Okay, any problems you have with your with your mod, you let him know. Send it in. Let him fix it. The only thing you have to pay for is whatever parts that needs to be replaced. Okay. Other than that, that's it. Okay. No armor leg. No nothing. Okay. Uh, the you know there are ups and downs with that you know if say hex okay i'm not saying hex is a bad company or anything like that you know it is what it is i use hex i like them i like their mods okay you know we we you know there's some people out there um they fix it and they do it for the hell of it and there are people that are technicians that they fix it and they care about it and it lasts a lot longer okay um there are people like that, you know, just like everywhere else, you know, everywhere you go. Say your car is bad, you, 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 your car is bad, you need something fixing your car. You bring it to this guy, you know, either you know or you don't know, and you don't know how he does, you jump in your car, he fixed this and fixed that, and, you know, he fixed it, but he did it, you know, for the hell of it. He fixed the problem, but it was the hell of it, and... You know, some other parts was damaged and all that other stuff, but your car works fine now. You know what I'm saying? And there are other people that are willing to put their hearts into it and they fix it, but they care and they don't damage anything else, but they care and they did it exactly right. And they fixed the problem, you know? So, like I said, Ed, um, Edgar, he'll fix a problem. He won't damage your stuff. He, ma he makes it from scratch and he will take care of you, okay? Uh, I if I have the money if I want to lose this box, okay, and it's broken Okay, and something wrong with it either it's the chip or the fire bun the dial bun uh, Or the tray itself you let him know He'll fix it for you. Okay, if, if there's a part that needs to be replaced You just charge it for that part and you know, it's you know, it's cheap, you know, it's not expensive you know what i mean and he'll fix it and he'll send it back to you okay he stands behind his product okay hex they do a good job okay i had never had a problem with hex but repairing wise and otherwise i do not know um there are some people that have hex they send it in they get it fixed and all that and they got a bag it works either they got scratched or even more dinghies who knows i don't know okay that's i read rumors okay so i don't know i never seen one okay but i heard rumors about them okay uh vcm as well uh, v uh vapors cloud the old hammer of god um i i never had any problems with them yet i have met a guy uh like yesterday he's um he, on facebook he just bought one a uh, hammer of god version two and um his screen was out within less than Three, four months and it still works it just don't work no more okay uh, i don't know if vapors cloud is willing to help him fix it or what but you know that's up to him but that's the first time i ever heard that a series went out you know the screen went out on him and then he wasn't able to get fixed mine i had to buy a brand new and it still have one on me it's still going see still going so i don't know but like i said this review is about him, it's about his box mods. I recommend it. You pay for what you get and he will help you with anything else you need with his boxes. Okay, he stands behind his product 100%. And I, re I really recommend it, okay? 
compare and then this price is reasonable compared to the hex okay that's that's so that's a pro right there okay what for this one here this was one 190 90, 199 plus tax okay you can get a MOSFET chip same one I'm using here if, if it was a MOSFET chip for sure I'm not too sure it's a MOSFET chip but I know it's not a PWM okay you cannot really hit this at point one you can but that you will wear out okay so it has happened to me okay it wears out this one so far nothing nothing uh when i got this in i put my uh my lines on those are hitting that point one i've been you know vaping on that on my hammer of god put this sucker in it took it no problem okay so you have anything wrong you let him know talk to him he'll get it fixed okay so that's my review. I gave you my thoughts, price. I'll add a link to where you can find him, uh, find where, uh, find his website, and make your order. And I'll also uh, put a link from Facebook where you can contact him on Facebook as well. If you need any problems, anything future in your head that you have problems with your boss mods or whatever or not, he'll talk to him. He'll fix it. You pay for the parts that he fixed and replaced. And that's it. He'll send it back. You're done. Set. He will take care of you, okay? I recommend it. I gave you two thumbs up for Edgar, okay? So, uh, that's even being done. I hope you guys like the video. And please like and subscribe. Um, this may be my final toy. I don't know yet. Um, I'm still, you know, trying to look for employment and all that and everything. And, you know, I'm just trying to make it like everybody else. So, um, just trying to hang on. And the comedy is bad right now. So, but if I get a new toy... Most definitely, I'm going to do a review. Um, so, that's my video. And you guys, uh, stay out there. Be safe. Be strong. Uh, keep up with the FDA. And um, pin them down. Okay? Because we don't want them to hurt the, uh, the vape community. Okay? Because we need the vape community. Because everybody likes to vape. Okay? So, um, do what you can. And uh, enjoy your vaping. Shoot. If, if the FDA still reaches up, man, start stacking your juices, man. Because... You know, it's, it's a lot of money to just go through one single juice bottle or one single battery to get an FDA approval for it. You know what I mean? It can cost up to, say I had, uh, 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 you know, a bunch of bottles here, okay? And he made this juice line, you know, Twisted tw a 420 has to get this through FDA approval and it'll cost him a lot of money to get this one single item approval before he can sell it again, okay? It's still working on the ladder, but we don't know the... The finalizing yet but if it does we can kind of screwed so keep up with the FDA pin them down give them you know do what you do like everybody else you know put in your recognition in hey this stuff is safe it's not bad as cigarettes you know what I'm saying so hope it goes well because I want to continue baby you know I, I don't want that stuff to go away you know what I mean so that's another reason why you know I, I did what I did is to, to get this new toy you know and who knows but if I get a new product I'll do a review of them and give you my thoughts on it okay so that's my video hope you guys like the video and uh, you guys stay safe out there right till next time I get a new toy catch you later bye